We grew too quickly too close to be separated by the distance. You filled the void and I'm left with infinite space. I never hit you, but I can't live free until I beat you and I already lost the fight to the one that replaced me and she didn't even know she was boxing. Your perfume still in the air and my fingers are still running through your hair. Like the rain, I fell true. Tear my heart, rip it in two. Better girl, take the damn thing whole. It will always belong to you. You're the bittersweet that makes me smile while I cry. I've been loved and completely alone. I'm strong enough to stand on my own. You won't hear me complain and I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad, you won't hear me complain about what we had. My heart stops, my soul it bleeds, but my lungs baby, they still breathe. So you know I won't miss the sight of watching you walk right out of my life. And while I never missed an opportunity to notice the wiggle in your walk or the light in your deep green eyes, it was your smile. That moment you dared to be beautiful. Out from under your protective layers, proud of your battle scars. Not the countless hours of good conversation on a bad day, but the way your words kiss my thoughts like dew. The way you understood. The way you spelled my dreams with your words and you knew. I built confidence, like an architect and a girl to abuse to believe. Show her a relationship with equal and adequate contribution. Cook dinner, breakfast in bed, stimulating conversation and amazing head. I'll engage long enough to penetrate the desires she thought couldn't be satisfied. I'll fix her problems like patching mortar and brick until her expectations demand everything she deserves. I'm not the only, and I don't know if I'll be the last, but I'm the first to let her quiver. Shivers rushing from toes to fingertips. Acts in this bed can't replace the thoughts you cultivated in my head. I stand here not crying, sadder that I'm used to the pain of watching everything I want walk away and I can't let you see me dying. As of yet, she can't let me forget you because she can't make me remember even half the things I loved about you. She stumbled, I stood her true all too quickly upon the memory of you. I never intended a predicament. I only wanted to show her that passion is real. There are guys that know the deal, that fantasies come true. But now I stand here not knowing if I hold a bucket to the brim filled with an accelerant to propel the flame to burn the test of time, or just a liquid ready to choke it cold. Is knowing the fleet is knowing the heat of the flame enough to keep her warm in the depth of my absence if she can't make me love like you?